Are you looking for a pumpkin? Well, I'll show you how to pick the best of the bunch. Pumpkins come in so many shapes and sizes and colors too. There's big ones and green ones and white ones and lumpy ones and even little ones like this. But with so many to choose from, it's important to think of what you might be doing with it once you get it home. Think about where you're going to display it. Are you looking for something tall or short? Do you want a grouping of various sizes or similar sizes? Then think about what you want to carve. Are you going for a traditional jack-o'-lantern or something a little bit more intricate? Patterns with a lot of detail are best on a pumpkin with a nice flat surface, so you're not fighting any lumps and bumps. So if you don't have a particular pattern in mind, then why not let the pumpkin speak to you? Like this one right here. Hmm. I think this could make a pretty creepy witch's face with all these witchy warts. Or this one. Let's see, this square one. You know, I think that can make a pretty cool Frankenstein's head. Or this one right here. You know, I would carve this one on its side and use the stem as the nose. See, all you need to do is use your creativity and take advantage of the pumpkin's natural features. pumpkin from a beautiful patch like this or you're getting it at your local grocery store, here are some tips on how to pick a fresh one. Before committing to your pumpkin, you want to make sure that it's nice and firm and that the stem is solidly attached. Both of these are signs that the pumpkin is probably pretty fresh and you don't want it to spoil before it's big day. Half the fun of going to the pumpkin patch is the thrill of the hunt. With your pumpkin in hand, use your creativity and create a pumpkin masterpiece. Have fun!